job. There's uh, <laughs> that's the uh, the irony of it, I guess. Oh, that sounds like bad news. I'm just not. I have four jobs right now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's that uh, still sounds like bad. News. Yeah, uh, all three of them, are, all four of them, are part time. Three, three, two of them involve teaching. One involves so, uh, nonprofit social work and education coordination. I'm trying to find something that's permanent, full time. That is at least comparable to what I've been making with the other four. So, because the the fourth job is Tech Raptor, and that that's really just like freelance here and there whenever I can. So, yeah, that's the thing. Nobody hires full time anymore. But I got a a bead on a bunch of city work here in New York that's dealing with like, uh, God, like would you would you like to hear some of the titles for these? <laughs> Let's hear it. Hey, let me. I gotta pull up a sheet because I have a sheet with this information on it. Give me a second. Tell us how Cyberpunk our reality really is. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's already real. Yeah. I mean, I could have told you that. The problem though is it's too neon-y and shit. Mm. Okay, these, these are all civic engagement, government jobs. Outreach director, participatory budget borough director, director of communications, digital engagement, and intergovernmental affairs. Community Engagement Specialist, Digital Engagement Manager, Advisor for Community Board. So basically, yeah, you're, gonna run, you're gonna be running the Twitter, the tweet, uh, the, you know, Twitter feeds and TikTok and all that for that. That's what they want. No, no, they want me to actually uh, create com- curriculum, meet with politicians and community leaders all across the city, mm-hmm. and draw stuff. And my personal favorite. The one that I know I'm not qualified for, but I applied for anyway. Intergovernmental analyst. Oh, well, that's easy. You're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. You're all wrong. <laughs> I what wish it was that I wish it was that easy. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, you have to pouch it in language. You just like, you gotta feel like the right character wrong. for it. If you yeah, go with yeah. like the uh Tibetan guru here and you just have to say like one word every meeting, you got it made. <laughs> Not just do it less, day, Simplify, but do it in reverse. Yes. Yeah. You're yeah. Right, you want to keep right, your job? Right, right. You kiss ass. You're right. You're right. You're right. That, but that like, my days of government. Ugh. But a lot, a lot of it, not too bad. Like it's just. What's crazy about all these is like this is stuff that I'm not necessarily qualified for, but I have experience doing anyway. <laughs> so I might get lucky. So we'll give it a shot because honestly, teaching is becoming very close to a dead end, and it makes me sad. Right, the the teacher strikes you to get on board, even though. No, it's not even that. It's just that they don't have fucking jobs. They don't even have classes anymore for college level because most of them are either taken up with a few people or they just no one. You know, they're not hiring for things anymore full time for it. So it's just. It's unsustainable yeah. in the long run, and it's getting to the point where I'm actually getting hurt by this. Yeah. Why pay someone when you can get your grad students <laughs> to get, do it for you? For credit. Yeah. For credit. Yeah. You're paying us for the for the uh, opportunity to teach you how to teach. <laughs> sure. Since you can't afford it, you'll be settled with the debt for the next twenty to thirty years. That's already been the past 10, 15 years. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, now that we have connected with reality, let's disconnect <laughs> and go back to the same reality, but with orcs, magic, and, and elves. So, welcome, everybody, uh, to Shadowrun uh, Mirrored Souls, which, considering what you were just talking about, is quite fitting in a very dark way. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. So, let's present our crew, our Shadowrun team. Uh, I'm gonna start with uh, the hardest one to pronounce. Paya, Pia, Paya, Paya. <clears throat> also known as Rectus. Go ahead. I mean, I don't know what. Else. Um, Paya. Um, <laughs> Paya. I am an actor by day, actor by night, and an actor by weekend on my resume. I'm a complicated individual who has many uh, talents and uh, good at phone calls. Also, uh, I'm good at pest extermination. If you need me, give me a call. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a thing that you really don't want to do in the six world. It's a pest. They bite back. 
Um, next up we have Ackloid playing Bad Bastard. Go ahead, Ackloid. Hello, I'm Mark Lloyd. He, him, I play that bastard. Also, he, him. And he is that guy that everyone's talking about. He's that bastard who did whatever nasty thing that that bastard has done. Like ripping the front doors out of an apartment building. Yep. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have uh, Whisper. What's up? <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on. I, I, do I have to do it in the wispy voice like this? <laughs> you can, but it's not required. <laughs> uh, well, no, I'm playing uh, Whisper. He is a human. He is... Um, God, I haven't really done much with him. Because um, I missed all of last week. I kind of called in calculating. And I guess it's the one that put the team together. So I guess I'm the de facto leader. I don't know. Is that how this works? Oh, unless you put it to a void or nobody nobody uh, vetoes you, you're. I guess that's how it works. Then in that case, keep giving me a paycheck, box. Then in that case, I'm in charge, bitches. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's why you're the center camera picture there. Yeah, of course. Also, um, uh, he him if it matters. Next up, we have uh, Griffin, also known as Blank. Yep, that's right. I'm playing Blank. Mild manner, uh, co worker, actor by AA by day, and technomancer by every time he's drunk. <laughs> Only when you're drunk. <laughs> it helps. You gotta reach that Balmer's peak, you know. It's I'm the perfect familiar. amount of alcohol for coding. And technomancy, apparently. And lest we forget, Shy, also known yeah. as Trash Boat. Yeah, what's up? I'm Shy. I use uh, she, her, they pronouns, and I play Trash Boat, who uses he, him pronouns. He is a, uh, he's, he's a human, and he, he lives in a scrapyard, and he spends his days as a homeless guy putting things together, and being unfortunately sweet as a puppy in this setting, so, uh, you know, <laughs> comic relief! <laughs> Everybody needs to laugh, especially in 2022, or 2075, whichever. Um, now that I think about it, those, are we getting to the point where 2022 is... As far away from 1989 when this game first came out, that to 2075. Yes, we're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. You think that's um, bad? Think about it. Think about it this way: 30 years ago was what 1992. Yep. Now we're just thinking about the retro future stuff. Yeah. So let's, since Whisper, I uh, wasn't here last week. Let's do a little bit of a recap. Anybody wants to do a recap uh, of last week's? We finished the job. Part? Good oh well, yeah, that that was very informative. Thank that was you. perfect. All right, All right I'll, yeah. I'll give it a shot. Uh, Pia decided to try to go in disguise to try to infiltrate the building where all the workers were at in order to get an in and maybe an ID or some sort of way he could disguise himself. But ultimately, came to a firefight where they rescued him and then left him Los Angeles. However, they did offer him uh, a lot of stuff went down there. Uh, they then dumped the rest of the job on Blank, who infiltrated the facility as a worker, uh, using fake IDs and a bunch of etiquette, walked his way into a job and did a 10-hour shift of, uh, digital labor, and in the process completed the job by basically having access to nobody scrutinizing, and walked out. I think that about sums it up in the most immediate way, right? So we did this, we did this easily without... Much bloodshed. With with a minimum amount of discretion. I'm Where's the maximum. Worse or better? I don't know. <laughs> some. Yes. There we go. Some. Discretion was was at the enemy. Which is never seen as flammable or inflammable. I am proud of everybody for doing such a good job. I did screw up the combat, but that's fine. Just thematic. Um, okay. Well we're all yeah. learning. Yes. It's uh, alright, just Jeff- Shadowrun seems like it has a lot when it comes to combat anyway, so we're good. Yeah. Also, we switched sheets, so if that slows down a little thing. This one should be better, by the way. When you do an action, or I do an action, there should be a button that goes up. If you uh, uh, click on your token, you get to decide how to defend yourself, like a dodge or something like that. And that okay. happens no matter. Like, that should speed up things a little bit better. Uh, but you have to remind yourself to always click on your token, have your token selected when, you know, stuff like this is going down that way. Uh, 
Or so we can't just like click on the sheet then. Uh, well, when you go to the cheat, make sure that your your the, to the token is selected. Uh, uh, okay. Like doing initiative and in, 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 in D and D and stuff like that. Kind of like okay, that. I get it. I get it. Yeah. yeah. No, that way, because otherwise, you know, the sheet won't know who's doing what to whom, and it's like it will spit out numbers. It's like, well, I, you said you wanted me to do this, but, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that's good. So it's been about a month. I, I, I actually before that, I think there was some shopping left to do, um, and I had to find out some information for some people, uh, and that I sent a reminder, and nobody remedy. So we're back to that. I don't know. I need to so, remind you. Huh? I didn't know I needed to remind you. I reminded everybody to remind me exactly what it is that they wanted oh, to I do. Oh, I forgot to remind you. No, I had nobody yeah. to remind me to remind you. Oh, uh, we lost the amount of money we got from the job when the sheets transferred AK. over. What was the value again? Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Eight thousand. Yeah. I did make a note of that. Uh, and we had twenty-five karma that we can spend. No. No. That no. karma is go gone, I believe. Oh, okay. I lied then. Yeah. Um, you have the karma that you have currently. Uh, let's go to karma and see. There's some karma that transferred over if you didn't spend it, uh, including yeah. your character. But if you did spend, spend it, then yeah, there's no transfer over. I believe All right. it's six karma last week. Six karma. Six All karma. Right. Yeah. yeah, that sounds right. I don't know if I said it out loud and didn't spend five. Um, I think I spent all of it. Oh, I so, increased my uh, day job from a 20-hour to a 40-hour. Okay. Okay, so this is where um, me, who is probably way behind, has to ask a couple of questions. We can spend the karma on practically anything? Yes, but there are different costs for things. Uh, okay. Then. So let me... It's... Put in front of the inner character sheet. And it's... Uh, as always... They've improved the way they uh, manage their 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 PDSs, but they're still kind of not. Well, this great. is the original. Yeah. Back to, what seven years ago, mm -hmm. Griffin and I started recording these, putting them up with the sheet we used back then. Oh really? No, no, but I'm talking about the PDF. Uh, the the uh, oh the, the PDFs. Yeah, for some reason my PDFs are all broke. Mm. I open them up, and some pages are black with nothing on them except for like a table. So it's like. Where'd all the text go? Let me do a search for karma. Oh, what's that? You want to decide credit karma? No, no. I'm just saying how to advance. Do you want to find two karma? Increase your use of it? <laughs> no, thank you. What you looking for specifically? Uh, advancement rules. Because, uh, how this, the, the cost of everything, basically. I believe that is somewhere in the create a shadow runner area. Character advancement, that is on page... I'm looking to... Uh, you'll find all the tables at page 107. You said 107? Yeah, 107 of the book. Uh, generally, a lot of basic things like rank 1 skills are pretty cheap, but it gets more expensive the higher you go, of course. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and I guess for reference, I spent four experience on a brand new power, and then one experience each on new knowledge skills. I now know slightly more about as technology, and I actually have a skill for the Matrix. And also it takes about a week per point to uh, advance, depending what you're advancing. So it's not a matter of just buying it and that's it, you have to have the time. But we, I, I, we put about 30 days from this mission to whatever new mission you have to do, so mm. I guess there should be plenty of time to do that. But, uh, so sometimes you have the karma, but may not have the time to train up. So there's that old rule that you have to have need training time. Yeah, that makes um, sense. So, unless you're using a skill saw, but the skill saw just simply gives you that skill at that level, and that's it, you know. You cannot advance the skill saw. You can also get a teacher and stuff, but that gets into, like, some more extra rules, too. So, uh, so let me do an example, then, if I may, just so I can understand it. Um, let's say I want to increase a skill. Uh, There's like, two prices, one for active skill and one for uh, knowledge skills. Knowledge skills, yeah, I saw that. So, like, let's say it's an active skill. Let's say I want to increase my, I don't know, my, my sneaking, right? Mm -hmm. So... My agility right now, my rating for it's a negative one. 
don't know why it's uh, so you one. probably don't have any ranks in it, actually. Then. Yeah, so if I wanted to put a rank in it, it would be one two karma. karma. Two karma two points, karma. okay. Two karma, and it would take... Okay. Now, let's say I want to do it in survival instead, which I have a rating of three already. What it would, would it be? 20. 20, okay. 20, 20 if you yeah. were going from zero to four. It's the difference there, so it's eight. Yeah, it's it's four times eight, eight. Eight. Yeah, yeah. And that would take yeah. four days. All right. So that answers my question, then. Okay. Also, you cannot, you know, buy, like, multiples of a skill. You have to buy one and then have that and then do it again. So it's not like I go from two to six. So any skills where I do have a lot of points in, basically, I can't afford to improve them. But any skills I'm low in, I can improve them. Is what yeah, yeah that, that's the way it's supposed to work. Uh, ah, okay. The problem in early editions was that if you had a low skill, the penalty for not having a skill and having a skill in one or two was it was almost better sometimes to just do it on skill. And it cost so much karma later on that essentially you, getting new skills wasn't really uh, useful. But now uh, they, 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 tweak, they tweak that a little bit, so yeah. Now the, uh, now the way Theta, uh, and one more question then, the way Theta said um, I'm going to prove like the hours I work and stuff from 20 to 40, like what would that fall under? I have a that negative be... quality called Data. Yeah, it's not quality. Yeah. Which has uh, various ranks in it. And okay. I think I bought it at the character creation 10. But there's a 15, uh, le uh, 15 level. So I just spent 5 points to make to it. To make it from 10 to 15. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, that answers everything I need to know. Thank you so much. No, I, let me check. So, noting that I think qualities cost double after care creation. Now, Griff, I love how y'all hit me with stuff when we're on stream <laughs> and not the two weeks. Not the I'm two sorry, weeks we've been talking about it. It took me two weeks to remember it. <laughs> Not one. Did really anybody was say up. anything except for when we get back to stream again? God, lesson. It's like people don't remind you of stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Can they get a yeah. I know. I know. I'm sorry to make your life more difficult, but it also is specifically giving yourself a worse complication here. So, <laughs> let me see. One hundred three. We will tell this. It's on page one hundred three. All right, so that 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 answers all my questions. If, if that's all the case, then yeah, um, I don't see a reason to spend anything right now. No, you should. You, you can save it. You don't have to spend it all. Saving is valid. Mm -hmm. Well, it's also because I I don't foresee anything that I would need that I think is covered by everybody else at the moment. It says well, the cost maybe... for purchasing a positive quality during play cost. Mine is specifically a negative. Oh, okay. There you go, then. Actually, uh, well, I guess there's one thing I can do. Yeah, it doesn't expect you to, like, bot intent and grab a new one. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Um, there is a, uh, active, uh, physical active skill I was looking at. Um, uh, palming? I guess that's, like, sleight of hand or stealing or something, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Sleight of hand and stuff. Yeah, right? the cost, actually, no, because the thing about negative qualities is it doesn't have a rule for improving them or changing them. The way uh, it says is the cost of watching a positive quality during gameplay is listed as karma cost times two. Similarly, if a character wishes to get rid of negative quality, it has to meet any stipulated requirements and the game master has given, given the player permission, the player may do so at a rate of listed karma times two. Yeah, that's buying it off. It's basically spending it in a positive manner, but I'm not doing yeah. it. Yeah. The only comparison there's, there's no rule, for you There's no rule for you to buy, to do anything after you have the negative quality. Yeah, so this would just be a judgment call. The only other comparison I can offer here is uh, addiction, where you just get it, because you did. Right, and right. But I'm up. willing to spend karma, so. I would honestly I mean, just let you. You're making I mean, it worse you. on yourself. Yeah, you're making it worse on yourself. Well, it just makes sure. me have to work around a thing to now I have more time on that thing that I have to work around. That At the same time, we life. all know that I have that sleep implant where I only need to sleep three hours a night, so I've got a lot of time. Okay. Alright, so, um, if that's okay, then uh, can I spend uh, karma points on improving my palming skill? I mean, yes. Yeah, so it's at negative one right now for some reason for the rating, so I guess, like, to push it to one, it's three points, you said? 
Um, Negative one is the penalty for not having. Yeah, exactly. Right. Oh, okay. You would you have zero ranks in it, so you're going one. All right, zero to one. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, all right, so I just so that's just one point then. That positive, uh... Two karma. Oh, two points, excuse me. Two karma, yeah. That positive it's always thing is also good to know now, now that I know that I don't have to save 19, I have to save, like, 38. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was good. You have to buy them off, yeah, yeah. No, 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 I mean, not uh, buying off a negative one, that was a 19-point positive uh, quality I was looking for. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it oh, okay, well, that's more. actually 38 yeah. now. Yep, yep. It's gonna be a while. I need some, yep. too. I, that's I why, have... you know, I gave six, and it seemed like it gave you a lot of points, but not really. <laughs> I honestly right. was not thinking that was a lot. <laughs> so, I, By know, the way, I got my character stuff out of the way, but what about you guys? Uh, Shy and Arg, you guys good to go? Uh, personally, I, I don't really uh, have too much of an idea of what I would spend money or karma on right now, so I'm gonna just chill for a sec, you know? So, yeah, yeah, that's how about just hit me up, like, later, and, uh... I'll yeah, I'll, I'll probably bother you later. Sounds great. Make sure you, you pay off your monthly... If you already have paid in advance your monthly uh, cost, uh, and if you have, check up one because a month has passed, so we're in a new month. Yep. I got my paycheck, and most of it went to rent, and now I'm bored. So, yeah. That's a move. Uh -huh. Actually, I, I think I do have more little, money than I started with, so that's good, at least. Wait, I, I did say, uh, apparently, I never reminded you. The what fake thousand? sin was the thing that you were working on. For mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's ah, right. Yeah, the for fake for sin. what's his name? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was something like that, but I wasn't. Sure. Uh, just so the GM knows, I'm also going to take uh, for a social skill uh, a rank in instruction. Mm -hmm. That'll leave me with three karma for now. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to spend any karma right now. I've uh, got mostly uh, skill groups I want to level up in. Yeah, those are more expensive. If you want to yeah, see they're hella expensive, all but they're yeah. worth it for the discount. Yeah. yeah. Where does it? Where uh, is the rent? It should be uh, in Europe. It's lifestyle. Lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where the hell if is you life? already if you if you when you're doing character creation, you paid up front, then just mark off a. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing because I paid like yeah. nine or. You 10 have the same lifestyle front. as I do, don't you? I think so. Uh, well, one of them. Uh, do you do you also get the obscure, hard to find, and. Uh, the other option? I don't believe so. No. Okay. Alright, if you just got it flat, then it's just whatever the lifestyle level. I'm just looking for it. That's the problem. I don't know where it is. Yeah, I'm opening up my, my chum right here to try and help you out. You know, I have all three of the top lifestyles, so... But I also went with Obscure Hard to Find. Oh, here we go. Lifestyles. And, uh, you are high rolling. lifestyle, is that right? I believe so. 10,000 a month. Yeah, no, then, it, again, it's, like, paid in up front for, like, nine months. I'm just, like, where do I check oh, that off? in that case, yeah, just check off a month and just keep track of it somehow. No, again, oh, keep track you, of it somehow, okay, so there's nothing... Yeah, I, there's, there's no specific way. Quantity uh, okay. of lifestyle you have. Well, I okay. mean, there's a the character, but I don't know. That's basically what I just did, then. So I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. It's all... Actually, I might need some con... And That's probably getting a, good idea. a quick little boost that wouldn't hurt. Under that. Oh, under the social tab on the right hand side is sin and lifestyle. I guess it just transfer over. There's none of my lifestyles there or all. Oh, I already have Quan. Okay. Yeah, neither mine's not there either. Yeah, I mean it's fine. Just open up your channel. I mean that's what I do with all my uh, equipment and uh, build stuff as I. Opened up the book, copied the paragraph, the paragraph in there. It's like, no, it's just rough. My sheet wrapped in open book. Uh, and just so that I remember, uh, Trash Boat mm -hmm. totally just living on the streets, is it? Literally in a scrapyard. He, he, there's a Not literal even metal, he's, he's streets. there's Good. a literal, like, metal shit shack he's built amongst a bunch of, like, trash, and that's literally where he's, like, lived that, always. That could be squatting. Did you ever, uh, read Ready Player One? No. Yeah. Because that's basically... Isle of Trailers. But that's where his family lives. When he tries to get away from everybody, there's like a, oh, like a pile of cars. Like a pile of just old cars, and in the middle of the pile, he, like, he squeezes his way through there, and there's like just a giant van or something. In like, the middle of the more or less, honestly. That's why, that's why he's not blown up. And the, the stack, which is all the trailers on top of one another, blows up, because he's in this pile of cars. 
Oh dear. Very chill. Do you well, want? Actually, not because otherwise he would. Be. Yeah. I mean, I mean, do you want uh, an apartment or you're good? Don't no, ruin, don't like ruin our the, building. What are you doing? We live the in the same building. Point, the whole point of Trash Boat is that he literally has nothing at all hours of every day, and he's just vibing. Like, Come on, he's whisper. Chilling. Know your privilege. Stop yeah, inviting okay. these people into the building. Check your fucking privilege. <laughs> it's okay, I know parties where you can go to sleep. <laughs> Apparently, I okay. Need so to... the cost of the fake sin I found. Uh, yeah. is 2,500 2, new yen per rating. Uh, right. I mean, I know it's, it's figured she had, like, a complication. It's not throw it yeah, it's F. Uh, it's, uh, so it's restricted. Uh, so you're gonna need, you're, you're gonna need a, um, I'm gonna, you're gonna need a contact, like a fixer. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. Or a negotiation. A well, negotiation, no, she is, yes. she's the fixer. That's who I called. Oh, okay. Watch oh, yeah, her and he goes, she does it for watch you. her rating. Yeah, she does it for you. Yeah, uh, hold on, let me, what, uh, let's see, Fixer, she is Rose Klein, she is 5. Very two good, five. but she... Uh, so, yeah, you're gonna roll... Let's roll a, uh, she's 2 only. Now, she's gonna roll... What What rating are you wanting to want do? Again, I called her, so whatever she thinks. Well... You get Let's do the call. No, I have to say, well, we did. We did the call, and she said, I'll get back yeah. to you. So I guess this is the call. Well, back. she's getting, she's, um, get, months she's later. getting back. You know, this is a pretty delayed callback. She is getting back to you, it says. Uh, I can. I have a few sins that, uh, that I managed to re, uh, bring back from the dead, but exactly how much are you uh, willing to pay? Because these are hard to say. Are we talking about just a day job sin, or are we talking about, you know. Well, that's what that I told you last know. time. It's uh, when you talk about. Uh, this is what I told you last time. Uh, it's nothing that's uh, too much of a threat. Like he's not planning to get in any uh, high crimes or anything. So enough that doesn't get looked at from the day to day, every day. Okay, I'm gonna do a for you. I'm gonna do you a solid thirty five hundred. That's fine. That will be a rating two uh, set. You don't have anything higher than that. Not for that lower cost. No, oh, no, I don't care. Higher that will take. How, what's that, what's that's the next one up? Right, if if you, I, well, I do have a rating three that just really badly burned. I was able to resuscitate in my context, but that's going to cost you a big six, sixty-five hundred. What get, get a four on your hands? No, you don't have any fours. That. Yeah, I mean, she has two five, right? She's very loyal to you, but no, when I say I'm not. That, you're not that good. That's me talking to her, like trying to. Oh, I'm yeah. not that good? Let me show you how good I am. I'm trying to work her up. Yeah, she's, she's successful. I mean, the sin business is hot. It's, it's hot drag. All right, well, give me that three. How much was that again? 6500 Um, cool. How do I normally pay her? Um, I'm assuming we you, have some sort of... Because you know can, her, you can, I know her as... Um, yeah, you have a... Well, the, you when you set it the end of show page, did you select... On, on credit, or do you send on favors? You could have selected that. You can select how you pay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a price, but she can, you know, it can be equivalent of services. It can be equivalent of just giving, you know, mailing her a credit sh a credit stick, uh, secret bank Did account. Preferred payment, yeah. barter, professional, profession item. So I guess maybe she likes a movie set? And I should for the sets? Or? Maybe she's a collector? I mean, it's possible. Maybe she's, yeah. my, she's a fan of mine, and she doesn't know that I'm actually me. So, yeah. I find it to be real easy to give her shit that's mine. That's why she's so Give me pictures of Spider-Man. Know that I'm actually Spider-Man. <laughs> you have to go to the online blue book and check how much your memorability is going for uh, at this moment. But yeah. Let's see. A signed, autographed version of shit. What do I have in the closet? Yeah. So, yeah, I guess drop off the sort of thing. Yeah, you, you get I drop off the oh. item in a hidden spot, and yeah, a couple of days, I'll go back there, and the thing, whatever sin mm -hmm. actually is, will be there. It's like a card, basically. Yeah. Right, so, you know, it's a, it's, it's a, the sin is the, the, the chat on version of a social security card. Right. But this one has all the biometrics, you know, hologram, picture of you, and all that. And I'm assuming stuff. this happens at some point during the month. Yeah, yeah. Right, and at which point then I would have back over to put his name down somewhere. I'd probably put it in chat and then everybody tested their rules. 
Let me see. <laughs> we'll listen to the panel a little bit. Yeah, no, I guess the last things I said that made it past all the uh, test rules was get the demo. Or, yeah. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> ship ship is trash boat. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> So, uh, in this incoming month, you also are setting up feelers for all the jobs. So, who has contacts that you think could give you a job? Um, um, let's try it. Uh, oh, other people sure that you should know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try the unusual suspect. Because uh, we did a lot with Griffin last week, and we certainly did a lot of with... Uh, and this, the first job was Whisper. Yeah. There's that bastard, and... Uh, trash boat have anybody they think hey you know need a job if not any anyone else can try but i want to give the chance to other people too yeah totally <laughs> um i don't know if his contacts are necessarily like hey i've got a job for you kind of people mm -hmm. the the on, the only one i could think of is the only one that i actually managed to remember to write down but mm -hmm. I, i'm gonna say probably not i'm gonna say probably not Okay. okay. I I got some usual oh, suspects if you wanted to use them. As as do I if you like. I got one as well. I have a picture. There we My go. cat okay. usually will send me on missions to get it more food, so there's always Clint. Oh, well, you have a cat. Uh, I have a dog. Uh, yeah, what's the name of? What's the name of the contact? Uh, describe them for me because I don't have them on contact list here uh, for that best. Uh. <laughs> He uh, has a front business of a handyman, you know, like small business repair of household appliance sort of okay. thing going on there. And he calls it Mr. fix -It. Well, you get a call from Mr. fix -It. Uh, By the way, we're going to do multiple. So you guys have a choice of multiple jobs. You know, I just the first job was just the one to introduce to introduce the players. But then we, the way we're going to move forward is people going to I'm going to give them like two or three jobs per start session, and you guys decide well, how many you're going to do. We're just going to do one at a time, etc. I like so, that. You know, that way, you know, it's that's, that's why I'm going to your quest to your contacts and I'm saying, by the way, this is a job, right? I mean, I could do that, but it's kind of boring. So yeah, you get a call from Mister Fixit on your comm link, like yeah. Um, how you doing, man? Been good. Everything copacetic? So far, so good. I mean, could always do with a little work. Well, you know, I was doing a couple of jobs down at the, uh, at the pier. Uh, things get very busy. Sometimes they hire, you know, from outside, uh, you know, from outside the company. You know, do some, some basic electrical stuff like that. And I talked to a guy who talked to a guy to a guy that's saying that they're getting a uh, a shipment of tempo. And uh, do you know when you have uh, etiquette uh, street? I do not believe I do. No, no, no. that would be a uh, um trait. That would be skill. Like, a skill. Oh, it's a skill. I can't. I probably don't have them now. Yeah, they uh, did the charisma based one. So. Yeah. So you basically you draw a blank on tempo. It's like, what? Well, like, yeah, it's the stuff from it's coming from South America. It's pretty hard, right? There was a couple. There was a bit of a, a war going on, uh, and, and last couple of years, you know, ghost dancers and Aslan and all everybody was shooting at each other. The mafia got their asses kicked. I mean, still around, but not as much. So uh, this shipment seems to be one quite on the down low. If you know what I'm saying? If you're interested in acquiring some of it. I could get it off your hands. As long as it doesn't come back to me, of course. You know. Of course. Of course. If I happen to find some, I'll let you know. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I mean, I will say this once. I'm always going to say it again. When it comes to stuff like this, if you deal, don't hit it. Same. But really, right. that's just something I heard of. You know what it is. So if you do come across something called Tempo, I mean, you know, the quantities that would be negotiable and marketable, well, you know, you know, you know the call. He nods. 
and you know. uh, says no more in case they're being recorded. And yeah, yeah, he signs off. Um, oh, the, he was a call. I thought this was a face face meeting, but yeah, he would just he would acknowledge. Yeah, I got you, sir. Falls off. Uh, next up, um, yeah, I think this is gonna go to uh, to blank. Um, All right. And, and they're calling you because they're searching for someone else. They're like they're searching for trash. It's like, hey, hey. Um, uh, what are your contacts? You got any fixers or other strike contacts? Uh, the biggest fixer type character would be Big M, a gang leader. Okay. Big M comes to like, hey, man. How are you Buddy. doing? Oh, hey, I man. have been working so hard this month, and I hate everything. Do you have any event coming? Yeah, I may have something up the PCH if you're interested. Oh, uh, um, I need to take, you know, like, five weeks off. You know, I've been trying to turn my life around a little bit, just a little bit. Because the party is good, but, you know, some Again. things were... Yeah, Again. yeah. I mean, at 2.30 in the morning, you're thinking, what am I doing with my life, man? Like, I think the answer is jazz. Something. Well, that too. That's good. That's good. But I heard up in the, in the graveyard, in the vineyard, that uh, somebody, something, moving something up north, and they may need some backup tech. You know, taking it back to the Japs up north. Don't repeat that that I say that. So I'm guessing you need Trash Boat to, like, arm some kind of machine, then. Well, you know, if you got something, somebody who could do some shooting, shooting, and protecting, protecting, you know what I'm saying. Then maybe, you know, yeah, that might be a good thing for you. You know, I know a couple people, actually. How's a, how's a big-time sniper sound to you for this? Well, it's gonna be road work, so if he can shoot on the move, yeah, he might be good for it. I think I could dare him to do it. If you got anybody who has a good good vehicle to something that could take some punishment, then. Give me a time a and place. Idea. I'll gather people up and see if I can get them there. Whoever shows up, we'll do the job. Uh, yeah, tell me if you, if you got a team, and I'll I'll pass it forward to the uh, the Hershey Stances. I guess I'll have to pull out my rifle. Oh, where'd I put it? And then they're just the sounds of like boxes shuffling around. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, but if you need any jazz or stuff, I do have a couple of boxes left over from like last week. You know, whoa boy, we had some party. You should have been there. Oh, the honeys were all over me that day. Oh, oh well, my workload's awesome. looking nice and free for next week. So back I'm gonna on save time, you. I'm gonna, down. I'm, I'm gonna save you a seat, man. Make sure you don't oh. forget the munchies, though. I'll bring you a pizza too. Uh, I'm the delivery guy around here at this point. <laughs> man, man. Uh, I'll catch you at the meat, Big M. Take care. Bye bye. Right. So he'll he'll like send me like a a time and a place for this, and I'm gonna start rounding. Unless you want to like also see if someone else has a job offer. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, this one is gonna be a little more complicated, and it's gonna involve Pea in his uh, professional quality. Uh, and I think also uh, Blank is going to be there as well in professional quality. Well, um, maybe even Whisper, because anybody who was attached to the recent uh, movie, TV show spot thing, you know. Uh, yeah, I think the, the, the big crew is me and Paella, and then, of course, my agent can be there. And it depends on if our agent has, like, hired Trash Boat again. Yes, right I think Trash Boat was the one that worked on the set. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was also... I was your agent, I thought. No, you're not my agent. I actually have my agent my contact. You're my agent. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. All right, I'm his agent. Okay. So. Yeah. So basically, you get invited into a big premiere uh, for a new uh, movie, uh, movie slash television show, because like this stuff always has like. Okay, it's not that fiery of... ring thing, is it? No, uh, it's actually uh, a new movie for a very big local star. Uh, her name is Katiana Berkeshkova. Also known as Catberg. Yeah. Uh, I like Catberg. Yeah. Or oh, Kate Berg, I should say. Uh, Catberg wrong. Kate. Yeah. Uh, she is a. Uh, she is from a uh, former Soviet. Uh, from former Russian. Uh, Russian Republic. And she moved in, in uh, when she was very young to. Um... No. She's in the same realm I am. Well, yeah. She's you, in you, Los you, Angeles you... right now. Yeah, when she that this look at that she is stationed in LA, you know that's her thing. Um, and uh, you never worked with her, uh, yeah, but uh, 
you know, you know, like all these famous people, you kind of go literally dance in circles around each other. Like you're in a project that's connected to a project that she's doing and she's doing this. And there's always rumors that, you know, the list of the next video is going to be in this. And then, you know, you appear, you appear in the kind of the same list. So she is on your grade as far as, or maybe even higher when she gets to, uh, paid at least uh, for all the things. And you, you're in this premiere, right? And you're doing the thing where you're walking down the red carpet and, and you know, it appears from the people watching the video that that piece of the red carpet is a thing. But in fact, it's a bunch of little stations where the video and video people are, you know, stopping you. They do, do a short interview. You know, you turtle around. Maybe they do a drone thing where they do the fashion drone and you go to the next station and to the next station. And it's like 10, yeah, it's 15 a VR people overlay them. for a press packet. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's on the on the red carpet itself. Well, the carpet is sort of segmented in a way because you go from one lap, one bright set of lights to another, to another, to another. So what should have taken you like five minutes to walk from the street, from your limo to the front door, takes you like like 15, 20 minutes, you know, because it's just, you have to constantly talking. And so literally there's somebody talking before you in the station and then there's somebody talking and she's right in front of, like you're right, right, right behind her, right? But She's moving. She does a thing. Short interview. You move in, etc. And um, for some reason, at some point, she sees Blank. What is your your professional name? Not your shadow runner name, but your professional name. In, in as you go by. Um, oh, mine is Goto. Gary Goto. Goto. And you're at work, right? She sees Goto and pulls him in in front of the and, camera. Uh, and, and there's just like, like a slight look of shock for a moment before I go into full professional. And she's like, and she sort of drapes over Code Goto and is like, and you know, this young man right here, up and comer, I, I, I have the, the, the privilege of when working with him. He mostly most works behind the scenes, but he's a wonderful worker. And I'm sure he is an up and comer. You should check it out. And she actually rattles a couple of projects that you have been in front of the camera doing minor work, like off the top of her head. And you're like, like, oh, really? But you're trying to keep that, you know, do a... I want to roll for me, see if you can keep your composure. Um, right. Uh, I think there is actually a composure roll. There it is. All right. And so I'm you don't crack. That. How about, like, a, a, a die bonus for just... I'm pretty used to being in front of cameras here in line. <laughs> you're in front of kind of cameras, but the problem is, you. this is it. This You've been That's to the fair. red carpet from behind, so it's like, that cancels out. Like, this is the first time somebody... This day just pulls you out. I'll just like, roll straight, that? and that's two successes. As I just kind of smiled on and go, really, it's been an honor working with her. I could not think of a more professional actor uh, out there on the set, always giving it a hundred percent for every performance. And one of the and one of the it's like, well, I, but it seems that you, the two of you are. And she's she coyly smiles and goes like, ah, uh-huh, that's not part of the show. And she just links arms with Weak. you and just starts walking, yeah, and just <laughs> uh, and walks to the next station. And after that, essentially, you just become uh, her arm candy for the next stations, right? Uh, until you reach the doors, right? And, uh, right, and she right. says, when you reach the doors, she's like, sorry about that, but uh, I needed to talk to you. Um, oh, I thought you just a, needed a save. Well, that too, but, you know. Anytime. You're, you're cute, so it doesn't matter. And, um, and at that, like, go to, like, actually like, blushes a little bit of thing. Like, so, you know... You remember, uh, and you kind of walk in, and there's a you know, there's the people you walk in, and and Paya has been left behind like three stations ago. Like, she just you know, and Paya goes, Yeah, I'm like looking back and going, Yeah, he's having fun, yeah. Uh, and there's drinks and everything else, right? Actually, you know, you're walking, and she actually just said, Like, you know, I am, um, I'm looking for young actors to you know, promote, uh, uh, do winning. Well, do you have etiquette? Entertainment, or what? Um, what I don't have, you have a specialization, but I do have etiquette. Yes. Yeah, you can do a role etiquette then. Okay. To see if you remember this this from uh, from her. I probably should get that specialization for like showbiz and adjacent at mm. some point. But one success. It is. I can do it. Yeah. She says, "Mom," and you know, I'm moms are, are it's it's a holy club, uh, which is a political party, uh, known as Mothers of Meta Humans. Um, and she says, "Mom is looking to for new talent, looking for new faces uh, among metahumans, particularly you know people like us, right? Orcs, trolls, that sort of thing." 
And, uh, you know, if a couple who did life and turn up completely upside down, <laughs> yeah, and you hear somebody getting smacked in the face in the back. Anyway, um, oh, that's actually my. It's literally, it's my victim. It's literally part of the plot. Sorry, I wasn't all watching. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, and she says, "I know that you have been." I'm sorry too. And she 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 turns serious for a second. It's like I'm, I I don't want to impose of you, but we are looking for new spokespeople, and I think you would be perfect there. Ah, so a bit of overtime, huh? I mean, I've seen your work. You do good work. And I think it's time you... And she looks over her shoulder to where Paella is like, I think it's time that you should come out of a certain type of shadow. He means well, I think, but... Well. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had a, a star and roll anything bigger than a commercial. He's just, like, scratching his chin, thinking, I gotta... You, you mind if I have, like, some time to think about it? Time. The, the clock is ticking, but sure. Right, right. The, Th thank you. Thank you. And I'll just like and, start, start thinking. And you see, you see that there's a, a DJ because this is the whole party, the premiere, and there's going to be a party after the premiere and an after party after that. You know, this is this just the way it works. It's like it's the scene. That, it's like the same the scene that you're in, except that this is far more expensive, right? Far, you know, more glittery, more fashionable. But at the end of the day, it's no different than the crash parties, the parties you crash into with your friends, and you know, it, it's more of the same. Yeah, but a, a higher New, New York count. Yeah, yeah, uh, high New York count, right? Mm -hmm. You know, do it for you know cents of the New York, they do it for thousands of New Yorks or tens of thousands, even millions. Um, and you see, there's a DJ, and she is playing. Uh, let me see. I show you the 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 person. It's a classic song. And turn she... down for what? No, I'm thinking like give give me like some like bad like Euro like disco music from like the mid two thousands or something. Sandstorm. Yeah, yeah. Lord, there you <laughs> that's go. That's exactly it. Sandstorm, yeah. the twenty seventy seven remix. That's yeah. exactly it. Like right as I'm saying that, the thing that pops in my head is uh, that stupid blue song from Eiffel sixty five. Remember that? Yo, why oh, is that gosh. song like? Yeah. The last three days, that song will not fucking pop out of my life. Like, nine people have referenced it in the last three days. I don't are know you, what's up. Are you serious? I'm <laughs> fucking serious. <laughs> and that she's, is... you know, she's doing, and she's doing a classical, like, mix that she has, like, LPs and all that. She's mixing music and scratching and doing all the stuff, right? And a older couple come into her, and, and you notice that they, they look similar, like, they look like their parents, like they're... Mm -hmm. And he starts berating her, like just shouting across the table. And she's like, you know, she's doing all the thing. It's like, and kind of ignoring her. And this, this is a couple is well dressed, right? Um, again, you can do another etiquette roll to see if you recognize who these people are. Now that I've gotten rid of my wound bonus, I should roll slightly better. My wound penalty, I mean. Yeah, that, that, that does. Uh, no, no, that's it, a that's a problem. This particular bay chassis. You have I I just had to set it to zero. And yeah, to set it to zero. That's it. There we go. Now it's rolling little dice. Three successes. Yeah, you re you know who they who at least the gentleman. He's uh, Jonas Quimby. Jonas Quimby is a well known agent to the stars, right? Um, high end, and he's also a major record executive, right? Um, which would make the DJ in front of her of him Maria Quimby, one of his children. Because also you know she's very much into music, right? And, right. Uh, but why are they having this open argument? And she's just trying, you know, she's trying to block him out. And then he just reaches over to get his her headphones, like you know, take them off. And her wife, uh, his wife, sort of holds her back. And then like guards come in, like security, like, and she's, you know, she goes back. It's like, and he, he realizes the the scene that he's making, and he puts his hand down, and and, and it's like. Right and, before and he had escorted out by security. Oh, yeah, and they they go to the side, you know, and he grabs a drink or something like that. But you know, you don't know exactly what's happening. And after a couple of minutes, he just simply switches over to like a, a seat. You know, she loads one of those cassette disc things so that it plays automatically and just takes her, uh, you know, headphones and just goes to a corner. Uh, Trashable is also there as well, I think. Yeah. And whisper, is anybody going to react to this, or just simply, you know, you know? Yeah, um, I think probably while I'm doing my talk, it's one of these guys. 
I mean, I mean, I could, uh, uh, or first thing, let me ask this. I know who Maria and Jonas are, right? Yeah. All right. I'm actually going to go to Maria and ask her. I'm going to go to Maria first. And mm-hmm. I'm just going to, you know, I'm give her the look, you know, the look like, are you okay? Do you want to talk about it type of thing? Oh, she uh, looks at you and she's like, oh, give me one. And she sort of slits in a uh, skill stuff. A what? And then she, a skill stuff. Which okay. is, and she starts signing back, right? Uh, it's not very precise, but because it's a basic skill soft, right? It's skill soft basically. If you, it's like, like the Matrix, like right? that you get, cho- uh, you know, connected to the computer and they download a skill. But this is like per chip, right? So she just starts to the chip and she knows now. Sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least the basics, anyway. She signs back. It's like, sorry, I, I and she also speaking as well. Sorry, I, this is family thing um I, I, I didn't expect my i should have expected my dad to be here but um you need to talk about it and i'm yeah obviously i'm signing back at her too yeah uh, and and basically you're she took a, a little corner uh, there's there's uh, uh, uh um automated uh and an escape to a set of escalators mm-hmm. they go to the second to a second floor balcony thing like a second floor is a balcony that over over hangs the first floor where the, the main gala is, and that's where the uh, theater is at. At least, that's where the celebrities go because those are the uh, the top boxes, right? Um, and then everyone else goes through the main doors on the first floor. And uh, she's like, you know, kind of, she kind of slinks into us like, it's my brother. He's gone missing again. Missing? Why, what do you mean again? Where did he go this time, do you know? Where'd he go well, last time? Not, well, he, he's going into one, one poly club after another. He just, you know, he's got to head into politics now. He wants to change the world, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, he's woman. He's supposed to be in UCLA taking classes. Then he cuts classes, disappears for a week or two, then comes back and hits m- mom or dad for money so they don't kick him out of school. Goes back to school for a couple of more weeks. Then out again, going somewhere else, and this time, this time around, it's been a month or so. My dad is probably paying through the nose to keep it out of the news, but uh, yeah. And he and she and and he thinks that I know where he is, and I'm you know, keeping it a secret. I don't know where he is. I don't know why I wouldn't know where he is. He never talks to me. Uh, what's the brother's name again? Uh, his n- brother's name is. I'm, I'm assuming I know it, but uh, just like I'm yeah. asking out of character. No, oh, it's fine. Uh, Darius, Darius Quimby. Uh, they're also you do know that they're twins, right? They're about the same age, right? Um, so like early twenties or something. Yeah, they're they're going to college, so yeah. Well, she's not. He is. She decided to be a DJ. I mean, I'm doing my thing. You saw me. I don't. Yeah. Ha- I don't need to deal with this. I don't need my my parents' money or anything like that. Darius is the one always hitting them for money, and I'm like, okay, fine. I, you know, he's gonna. I don't know. He's going to graduate. He's probably going to end up in our college somewhere. Move to Seattle and just be a, in our, you know, uh, uh, a drone somewhere. Eventually, when he gets all this political bullshit out of his system, but what now he, he wants to change the world. Well, what's he actually trying to do with the political bullshit? I guess. Well, last time he got into being an elf poser because he wanted to change the, the the lot of the poor elves, right? And you know, and then orcs and. No, any anybody who you know the other time was he was in rescue abandoned dogs in the highway. I mean, it's just whatever he thinks he can do that is good, I guess, good good karma or something. He just goes and does it, gets tired of it, and then goes back to school because they're about to kick him out. So he has to go back to that to give him money so they don't kick him out. So he goes back to school, hears about the next crusade, and goes out and does it. Last bit has been just poly clubs. He just wants to be in politics. So. Do you know of any club specifically he's gone to? Well, he's in, he's in a, he's a meta-human kick, so... Uh, so one person here who might know. And you know, when she says the one person, you know exactly, because you know, she's just literally the, the LA spokesperson for the... for the MOM or mom. Uh, so the mom spokesperson. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 
other people here are also involved in poly poly clubs, but it's the kind of poly clubs that wear hoods and you know yeah. that things on fire. So uh, you've mentioned the name of it before, right? Uh, yeah, mothers yeah. of metahumans. No, no, the spokesperson's name. Uh, yes, I just had it here. Tatiana Borgashova, also known as Katberg. Yeah, that was it. I was I kept thinking like Catman or something like that. Like, <laughs> it could be it. Borgashova. If I'm pronouncing it right, that right, and I'm not. Of course. It's close enough. I believe she appears like a troll here, but she's in fact. I uh, actually will reassure. Uh, I'll reassure her, and I will. I'm basically going to tell her. I'm going to tell Maria. Hey, you know, don't. <clears throat> Don't worry, if you like, I could keep an eye out, see if I can find them for you. At the least, help you out with that. You know what I'm really worried about? Is What's that one or two things are going to happen. My dad is going to cut him off, and he's going to be over his head, and, you know, we're just going to get an obituary saying, Darius died as a moron. Or, my dad is going to get tired of his shenanigans and send somebody out. Both somebody those, won't, be, won't be gentle. I mean, both of those sound horrible. Yeah. That's not the first time it's happened. I'll keep an eye out for it, if you like. At the very least, it's the least I can do. Yeah. Anyway, I have to go back to my set. People are, gonna, people are not going to notice that it's on automatic, but, you know, I have standards, so. And she pats you on the shoulders, like, appreciate the talk. No problem. Goes back to, you know, you know, ejects the, the CD. Actually, she, she starts the set so that it remixes so that people don't know the, the I, I see I see one hand she's you know uh scratched and the other one is ejecting the, the data disk so that people don't know notice the, the the switch over. At least people who don't know about music would not know about it. Yeah. So the movie it's typical action, it's early uh early uh summer fair, action summer fair, a lot of explosions. Uh, stay sequence, you know, stuff like that. People plot at the end, you know. People in, in Hollywood have gotten the, ha the habit from Hong Kong cinema where they applaud at the end of the movie, especially uh, uh, in, in, uh, in, 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 in premieres. More like, and also because the stars usually come out uh, to, you know, on stage, you know, to, um, to receive the applause, right? So, you know, they do that. Um, and this is this is in the um, what's the one the theater where the the Walk of Fame is at um, the the Chinese theater yeah Chinese theater yeah oh we are moving up in the world then yeah. I actually want to find um, blank and then uh, Bahia uh, when I get a chance yeah, yeah I mean there's a, there's any you can take the intermission or wait till the show to the the movie to be over to uh, you know because it, oh. there's gonna be an after party as well right. So, uh, I'll you. wait till the movie's over uh, mm -hmm. and uh, get. Uh, I'll start with Blank uh, first. Yeah, Blank during the intermission, just like off smoking to himself for a little bit, pacing a little. Mm -hmm. Looks up at you, brushes over, takes your shoulders, and go, I, I, "I, you're here. Good. I, I, I don't know what to do. I might be able to become famous. You are famous already. More so. I, I just had a talk with Katya okay. Burgoska. I. I got, I, I don't have an actual poster of her, but I got it in my virtual real space back at home. But it, uh, she's amazing, and I, she gave me an invitation. Are you okay? I, uh, maybe I'm a little flustered right now, but, 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 this is, I, I'm excited, what do I do? You see, just whispered, like... <laughs> 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 Whisper just face palms. Um, 